Everyone, we are proud to announce the Galaxy Nexus. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, JK. And now that you've all seen the device for the first time, it's time to tell you what's inside that makes it great. Please welcome Kevin Packingham, Senior Vice President of Product Innovation at Samsung Mobile, to step up to the stage now and give you some more detail about the Galaxy Nexus. Good morning, and thank you for coming today. This is an exciting time in the mobile industry, with device innovations launching at a remarkable pace. And Samsung is at the forefront. We got off to a great start last year with our Galaxy S smartphone, and we continue with great products like Nexus S, Galaxy S2, and the Tab Series, building exceptional smartphones and tablet experiences for people around the world. That heritage of success and innovation gives us a great foundation to stand on. And I can tell you as a new guy on the team that there's a lot of pride and excitement about the direction Samsung is going from here. Samsung is now number one manufacturer of Android-based smartphones in the world, which, as you know, we're outselling every other platform on the market today. And it's based on that leadership that we are here presenting to you today, together with our partners from Google, this outstanding new smartphone, Galaxy Nexus. We're going to do several unique aspects about this device, and they'll be summed up in four key areas. Speed screen, design, and OS. First, let's talk about speed and Samsung's leadership in creating the world's fastest phones. Galaxy Nexus will be launching in both LTE and HSPA Plus versions, depending on the market locale and consumer demand. So wherever you are, we'll have you covered. Samsung is the only company that can offer end-to-end -end solutions to operators and people buying our devices. In the U.S., Samsung is the leader in LTE. We've seen a lot of success. Samsung introduced the first LTE phone, the first smartphone, and the first available LTE tablet, and the first LTE hotspot. Galaxy Nexus is next on our list of firsts, and we're proud to be able to introduce it to you here today. It is the first LTE Google smartphone featuring Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. Why all the emphasis on speed? Well, it's no secret that we all want a faster smartphone. No one wants to wait for web pages to load or applications to open. When people watch video, which, by the way, they are doing in ever-increasing numbers and with a higher and higher usage, they don't want buffering. They just want it to work. We know that, and our operators that we partner with around the world know it well, too. That's why we've been working closely with them, as they have aggressively built out their networks with the fastest possible speeds. Now, when Samsung says fast, we don't just mean fast compared to last year's devices. We mean the fastest possible, on the fastest networks. It's a huge step up. Both Galaxy Nexus versions, LTE and HSPA Plus, have been developed around a 1.2 gigahertz dual-core processor that flies, giving you a richer and faster user experience and a very quick, ultra-smooth multitasking capability. The key point is that the hardware works in concert with the operating system. The two were designed to perform better together. I mean, this device is really going to let the beauty of Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich shine. Speaking of shining, probably the first thing you'll notice when you pick up the Galaxy Nexus is the screen. For Samsung, the screen is critical because the experience begins and ends with the display. 80% of people who buy smartphones put display quality at the top of their list in terms of functional needs. And that is precisely the reason why we are rolling out high definition on our highly acclaimed Super AMOLED display on Galaxy Nexus. Super AMOLED is already recognized as the best display in the industry. It produces a color spectrum that exceeds even most televisions, making it the most colorful display on the market. It also has the industry's highest contrast ratio, which makes the colors pop and gives you the deepest blacks. 
We're talking a contrast ratio of 100,000 to 1, far exceeding any other display that you can find on the market today. And because the light source is organic, it is very energy efficient, meaning that the battery will take you even farther. The HD Super AMOLED takes the smartphone experience to a new level, and we're sure that people are going to be very enthusiastic about it. Now, when we introduced the Galaxy S with a 4-inch display, people loved it, and it was the talk of the industry. We upped the ante with a 4.3-inch and a 4.5-inch display on our Galaxy S2, and the feedback we got was amazing. With Galaxy Nexus, we go not one, but two steps further, introducing our HD Super AMOLED on a 4.65-inch display, giving people an even bigger canvas to optimize their content, web data, and video chat capabilities. Look at this screen. What I'm holding up is a spacious and gorgeous 16x9 HD display showing 1280 by 720 resolution. And the really beautiful thing about it is that Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich is specifically designed to work with this as its native resolution. And what does that mean for our customers? Well, for starters, 16 by 9 is the ideal ratio for watching movies. That is also the same aspect ratio of a widescreen HD TV. It's like having a movie theater in your hands. 1280 by 720 resolution and a 4.65 inch display means that you'll see smooth and continuous text and graphics visible of any size. Ebook fans are going to love the text clarity, as well as people who do a lot of web surfing. It essentially puts it on par with the best tablets and laptops out there and we believe that when you compare it with any other device with a 4-inch screen or greater, you won't find anything as vivid. And you're going to love the 1 100th of a millisecond response time and amazing performance. And, by the way, that fast response time is another reason why those incredibly sharp HD videos are possible without motion blur or after images. Now, at Samsung, that's what we call an optimized display. It's what people want, and the HD Super AMOLED experience delivers. Put it together with the smoothness and innovation of Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich, and you've got something that no other manufacturer can compete with. Now let's talk design. Design creates the emotional connection to the amazing technology at the heart of Galaxy Nexus. When we started the design process for Galaxy Nexus, we began with Samsung's design legacy and elevated it. This time, our design team took as inspiration the soft and natural curves of Magnolia, creating a product that looks really ergonomic. You'll recognize the curve, back, and contour display that we introduced uh, for the first time on a smartphone with uh, Nexus S, and we retained it for Galaxy Nexus. But as you can see, we've made it even slicker and slimmer while retaining that rounded edge, giving it a softer, more natural look and feel. And you can see for yourselves the incredible thinness of the device. The HSPA Plus model is only 8.94 millimeters. The other aspect of its sleek design is the bezel, which comes in at an amazingly thin 4.29 millimeters. Why is the bezel important? Well, for one thing, it accentuates the beauty of the screen and immerses you into the content you're seeing, meaning you can view content almost completely to the outer edges of the device. And by keeping the bezel small, and this is really crucial, we can make such a huge screen fit comfortably in your hand or in your pocket. In other words, as you can see, we've made the screen wider, but the phone won't feel any bigger in your hand. Now, the numbers are only one side of the story. I'm sure many of you are wondering, how does it feel? How does it really feel when you hold it in your hands? The answer is completely natural. It feels incredible in the hand. You aren't holding a physical artifact. You're simply holding information, and it feels nearly weightless. And it doesn't matter whether you're holding it against the contour of your face to make a call, or if it's at rest in your pocket. The curve design feel makes it even more natural than any other phone. The ergonomics are also improved with a special hyperskin backing on the battery cover. Hyperskin has a very soft texture, even softer than our previous version. It makes the phone slip resistant. Other design innovations include a unique buttonless design and hidden notification LED that accentuate the natural design without sacrificing functionality. And remember, anyone can claim a thin design or a long battery life when they're using the prior generation's technology. But Galaxy Nexus is achieving these extraordinarily beautiful and thin designs while still using the fastest available networks. Put it all together, and what you've got is just one beautiful package. There are a few other great new features and innovations you'll find on Galaxy Nexus that I want to introduce to you today. One of those is the outstanding 5 megapixel HD camera, which includes a zero shutter lag feature and 1080p full HD recording. 
Zero shutter lag, make sure you don't miss anything. Just point and click. Less than a second, you've caught your subject. It works really well in low light, too, and the quality zoom in gives you a much larger previews and sharper shots when you zoom. And as I mentioned, you can also capture video in full HD profile quality, 1080p, utilizing the camera's built-in video stabilization feature to radically reduce shake in your images. In addition to that, you'll also find new hardware features like the barometer capability, enabling new application development opportunities. We've also included NFC in the Galaxy Nexus, which will not only facilitate a broad number of mobile payment options, but you'll also be able to use it to share things like contacts with a quick link to another device. We've also designed a special drop-in dock with a Pogo pin that will let you quickly take advantage of all that great music or video content you capture on the device. Now, I'm sure that a lot of you are wondering when and where we will launch the Galaxy Nexus. Starting in November, it will make its way to the market in the United States, Europe, and Asia, including China and Japan. We'll be launching it strategically with major global partners in each market. In Japan, it will launch with NTT Docomo. At Samsung, we had the consumer's voice in our mind from day one. So we planned this phone, and I know Google did as well. I've talked a lot about Galaxy Nexus's speed, screen, and design, but now it's time to hear more about the new Galaxy Nexus operating system. And now, Matias Duarte and Hugo Berra from Google will present the last, but certainly not least, piece of Galaxy Nexus ice cream sandwich. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the show. Hi, everybody. Now, it's hard to believe, but Android was born only three years ago. And during that time, it has been evolving at an absolutely furious, amazing rate. Only six months ago, we finished Honeycomb. And when we did, we took that opportunity to really sit back and think about the future of Android. Where do we want to be? next year, five years, a decade from now, what do we want to stand for? In fact, we asked ourselves for the first time, what is the soul of Android? And to help answer that question, we went and we talked to people from all different walks of life who use all different devices and kinds of devices. We found out mobile technology is absolutely essential to people's lives, and that makes everybody in this room pretty happy. Um, but we also found out that while people like Android, while people need Android, they didn't love Android. People know that Android is powerful, but sometimes they felt really frustrated when they couldn't figure out how to get at that power. So we saw this as an opportunity. We set out our goal to define how we want people to talk about Android. And we created three design principles that would guide every choice we make in building the product. Android is enchanting, something beautiful, seductive, something you can really fall in love with. Android is easy. It simplifies every part of my life. And Android should make me feel powerful and smart. Of course, these are pretty aspirational goals. And in Ice Cream Sandwich, we're really only taking the very first step. But sometimes that first step is the most important. So, how do we make Android enchanting? We start at the beginning with the words. Meet Roboto. It's a totally new typeface for Android, modern yet approachable, and it was built from scratch for high-definition, paper-density displays. In fact, this entire presentation has been set in Roboto. With that solid typographic foundation, we then set out to give Android a total makeover. We wanted a break with the past. No more of that UI that pretends to be something that it's not, fake wood and fake brushed metal and plastic. But we didn't want something intellectual and sterile where everything looks the same either. We wanted something relevant, emotional. And we looked to the latest trends in graphic design to inspire us. Television motion graphics, 
web design, and print. And we started by looking at every screen and thinking of it like a magazine layout. Not lists of text with icons where everything's the same, but big, bold pictures with giant headlines that just suck you right into the content. We wanted simple typographic layouts with plenty of white space, eliminating lines and boxes and unnecessary decoration. And we wanted to imbue everything with subtle animation and delightful flourishes to really make Android come alive. So let's see it in action. Android's totally new look starts right here on the lock screen. And I love it. It makes me smile every time I see our new lock screen. The Roboto font sets the big, beautiful clock, and it's a perfect stage for your wallpaper, your content, that magazine about you. And speaking of wallpaper, in Ice Cream Sandwich, we've updated the live wallpaper as well with some really rich, gorgeous, subtle animations. This is my favorite, these animated beams of light rising up to the sky. And you can also see at the bottom the nice animated flourish inviting you to unlock the phone. Once you do that, you see one of the other major innovations where we've reinvented one of the basic ways you interact with the device. Galaxy Nexus has no buttons, so we've taken all that core navigation, including back and home, and made them part of the Android software UI. As you touch them, they light up with nice little animations. And more than just attractive, virtual buttons are more useful. Individual buttons hide when they don't do anything, and they rotate so that the icons are properly aligned. In fact, we hide them entirely when you watch video, so you can really take advantage of that full HD screen. So while redesigning Android, we touched every screen on the device. And we didn't just focus on how it looks. We spent just as much time on how Android works. We wanted to make everything simple, consistent, and fast. So we replaced boring button pressing gestures, uh, presses with gestures. We made sure that you do the same thing the same way everywhere across all of Android. And we took all of the actions that you do every day and put them front and center. So one of people's favorite parts of Android is their home screen. It's your personal space. We already talked about your wallpaper. Um, and you can swipe around to explore this space, left and right. Each one of your home screens can be as minimal or as jam-packed as you want. And this gesture to navigate, the swiping left and right, is so satisfying that we're using it consistently across all of Android to flip between similar screens. Android's home screen is more than just a place to launch applications. It's a home for widgets. And widgets are awesome because they let you see deeply into your content without having to go anywhere. You can have your calendar, your email, your social circles. In Ice Cream Sandwich, we made them more beautiful. We made them more powerful by introducing scrolling and stacks. But our main focus was making them easier than ever. So we started by making them simple to find. We put them in the same place you keep the other stuff on your home screen, your apps. Now, in Ice Cream Sandwich, you'll see the same left and right swipe gesture to page through applications. And at the top, there's a widgets tab. So it's easy to find and, again, page through all your widgets. Now, they're really simple to add. You just pick them up and drag and drop it to the home screen you want. And best of all, widgets are now resizable. So you can get your home screen exactly the way you want it. It's really your space. Now let's talk about folders. Folders are a powerful feature a lot of people already love on Android. But an ice cream sandwich, we've made them dead simple to use. Super simple to make. Again, you just drag and drop one app on top of another. And adding more just means you drop more. They're super simple to organize as well. Once you have your folder the way you want it, you again use the same gesture, pick up, and move it around. And you can see the other icons scoot out of the way to make room for you. But the home screen is for more than just apps, and folders are for more than just apps as well. If you want to keep your favorite people at your fingertips, you can make a folder of speed dial shortcuts. And speaking of keeping things at your fingertips, Ice Cream Sandwich also lets you customize your favorites tray at the bottom of the screen. You can even put folders in your favorites tray. So now, my friends, 
and my favorite apps are just one click away no matter which screen I'm on. So Android has always been acclaimed for the strength of its true multitasking system. You don't have to worry about which apps are running or how much memory they're using. It's super powerful, and we think it's not just for power users. So we added an icon to open up your recent apps so that it's quick to switch from anywhere. We show big, beautiful thumbnails so you immediately see what you're switching to. But just because Android can handle all of these apps doesn't mean that you always want to. Sometimes you want to focus on doing just a few things. So with a simple flick, you can toss away any application that you're done with. So let's look at another fun thing that you can use everywhere, one that a lot of you have been asking for. You can see this game I've been playing, and you all see my high score, but anybody who didn't stay up to watch the live stream, there's no way I can brag to them, right? In Ice Cream Sandwich, I hold down power and volume down to capture a photo of any screen. And after a fun little Polaroid animation, the picture is saved to the gallery, ready to share. One of my favorite features of Android is the notification system. From the beginning, Android has been designed to put you in control. In Ice Cream Sandwich, notifications are better than ever. They're more than just a list of icons and text. Applications have complete flexibility of what goes into them. And you can see we've added big, beautiful images of the people you're talking to. In Ice Cream Sandwich, we're also introducing a music player control notification. So you can pause and skip tracks without ever leaving an application, just by pulling down your notification. But not all notifications are created equal. If some notifications don't seem quite so important, you can toss them away with that same satisfying flick I showed you before. That way, you can keep the other more important notifications to follow up on later. Now, we made notifications also faster than ever before. What if your phone buzzes in your pocket or if you pick it up and see that the LED is pulsing? Well, right from the lock screen, I can peek into my notifications and jump instantly to the one I care about. So while we're here in messaging, let's talk about text. Great text input is just critical for a communications device. So we gave the keyboard a lot of love in Ice Cream Sandwich. It's more accurate and more responsive, and it got a makeover as well. We improved error correction. The suggestion strip is easier and more accurate, with big targets for your most common substitutions. And finally, we added an inline spell checker. So with one tap, you can choose from multiple suggestions or add new words that you may have just learned to your dictionary. We improved cut, copy, and paste and made it consistent throughout all of Android. Just hold down on the word you want to enter text selection mode, then drag the handles to select what you want. Once you have the text you want, you can cut, copy, and paste it, or just drag it and place it where it needs to go. But just because we're texting doesn't mean that the keyboard is the best way to write. One of the most popular ways to enter text on Android has always been our talk to type feature. You just press the microphone button on the keyboard and speak. In Ice Cream Sandwich, we're making this feature even better by making it instant. Hey, man, I'd love to talk right now, but I'm a little bit busy, period. I'll catch up with you later, OK? Question mark? Smiley face? <laughs> Even though I paused to think about what to say next, I didn't need to press any buttons. So remember how I said we focused on making the things you do all the time super easy and super simple and dead simple up front? Well. What's the one thing you do more than anything else with your phone? You unlock it. So why should you have to remember a password or a PIN? Your phone really should just recognize you. With Ice Cream Sandwich, we've invented a totally new approach to securing your device. We call it Face Unlock. 
And I think it's going to completely redefine the relationship we have with our phones. Using state-of-the-art facial recognition technology, Ice Cream Sandwich literally knows your face. Let's see what happens when Anand tries to unlock my phone. Nope, that's not going to happen. But when the phone sees me, oh, really? Are you going to be like that? <laughs> nope. Oh, I guess this makeup was a little stronger than I expected. <laughs> I'll show it to you in the demos, um, but we really love it. We didn't stop with the entire system. We paid the same level of attention to all of the Android apps that you know and love. And to show them to you, I'd like to introduce Hugo Barra, Android's director of product. Thanks, Matthias, and hi, everyone. Um, I have three things to talk to you about today. Core apps, photos, and people. Let's dive right in and start with core apps. And I'd like to show you a couple of features in the new Android browser. Let's go into the browser. One of the first things we did was redesign how you manage your browser tabs. You can do that now by clicking on this icon on the top here next to the address bar and you go to the new tab browser. You can have up to 16 tabs open. You can see a live preview and easily switch between them, just like you saw in multitasking. You can also close any tabs with that same flick gesture to just toss away pleasantly what you no longer need. Let's go to that tab. That's the New York Times site. You get the mobile optimized site by default, but sometimes you really want the full experience, especially on a device with a beautiful large screen like Galaxy Nexus. In Ice Cream Sandwich, you can now check a new option called Request Desktop Site. And you'll get the real deal desktop version right away. It looks great. Of course, with a desktop class browser like this one, you'll probably want access to your desktop bookmarks as well. No problem, because your bookmarks are now automatically synced with Chrome on your laptop, right over here, straight from your account. And say you want to take an article, um, perhaps like this one with you, um, in the subway. Ice Cream Sandwich now lets you save a page entirely for offline reading. Just tap on that option, and you're done. It's saved. This feature is perfect for stuff like mobile boarding passes, concert trick tickets, or maybe a train schedule like this one. It's entirely saved, locally, no connection necessary. We've also added a number of new accessibility features, most visited pages, and incognito mode for private browsing on the Android browser and a bunch of other things. That's the new Android browser. Now let's talk about Gmail. People love Gmail. And in Ice Cream Sandwich, we're making it even better. Our goal is to build simply the best mobile email experience you can find anywhere, period. Let's take a look at the new Gmail. Here's the redesigned Gmail inbox, now with two line previews to let you take a quick peek at your messages without actually having to open them. We've also added a new action bar at the bottom for one-click access to compose a message, search, and accessing your labels. This action bar, by the way, is a new design pattern in Android that puts your most common actions front and center. You'll see it across many apps in Ice Cream Sandwich um, here today. So you can select multiple messages. Uh, let's pick maybe three of them here. And apply any of these actions at once. For example, I can just quickly archive them all at once. You get that beautiful animation. Now, why don't we dive into an email? This is one of the places where Roboto really shines. And you have to hold the device in your hand to be able to really experience this. The text is insanely crisp. It's a pleasure to read. And you'll notice uh, here that the action bar changed based on the context. Since you're viewing a message, you now see buttons for archiving, deleting, and labeling, different from the ones you had earlier. It's also now a lot easier to navigate between messages in your inbox. Check this out. You can simply swipe like you do on your home screen. The same consistent gesture. 
makes it really easy to quickly skim through your inbox. And it's a pleasant to use. Now, email is about communicating with people. Not email addresses, but people. And Gmail has evolved to reflect that. We transform email addresses into chips with pictures and names. You can tap on any of these chips to switch email addresses, and you can easily delete the chip with just a quick tap. Super easy. And finally, we're adding one of the most requested features to Gmail on Android, offline search. By default, you're now able to search the last 30 days of email instantly, whether you're connected or not, and you can change that time window to anything you want. It's pretty amazing. Now let's take a look at the new calendar app. We've made it clean and simple with the goal of being extremely readable, making your calendar extremely readable, even when your schedule is really busy. Let's see, by the way, what my week looks like. Notice how you can go through the calendar just as easily again with that consistent swipe gesture. And let's look at my Friday. Well, this, that looks insanely busy. Um, maybe I could skip um, some of these meetings, um, but I can actually see all the details in this view, so I need to, to take a closer look. You can now pinch to zoom in to see more detail, or you can zoom out back again to see an overview of your day. It's really simple, and it's really, really useful. That's just a quick look at the new calendar app. There's more then. Um, there's more there for you to see. We've also updated all of the other core Android apps. Gmail that you just saw, YouTube, Maps, Google+, Music. We can't wait for you to see all of them. In addition to the core Android apps, of course, there are hundreds of thousands, literally, of other apps available for Android. And there's no denying that people are going to be using a lot of data. That's just a fact. So in Ice Cream Sandwich, we're doing two things. First, helping you understand your data usage. And second, giving you controls, simple, easy-to-use controls to better manage it. Let's take a look. You can get into this through settings by tapping on this new section called Data Usage. The first thing you see here is a chart of your overall data usage for the current billing cycle with a projection of future usage based on your history. That's the dotted line that you see here at the end of the month. Now, this is not just a chart. You can use it to set a warning so you know, for example, when you've crossed a particular threshold. That's the orange bar controlling that warning. Maybe we set it to 1.5 gigs. And you can even go one step further and specify a limit for automatically cutting off all mobile data by checking this option at the top. That's the control we were talking about. It also helps to know what apps are using data on your phone. See that spike towards the end of the billing cycle there? Why don't we zoom in on that spike to find out more details? So I can select just that section and then scroll down to see the list of apps and how much data they used during that period. There's a top app there which appears to, be, appears to be doing quite a bit of damage. I can drill in and see the, the breakdown of foreground and background data just for this app. And I can actually choose to cut off background data just for this app if I want, which means it will only use the mobile network when I explicitly launch it. So that's it. Transparency in control. It's the ice cream sandwich approach to mobile usage. Now let's switch gears to the second part. Let's talk about photos. In Ice Cream Sandwich, we've made it really easy to take photos, share, and have fun with them. We've also worked very closely with Samsung to deliver world-class camera performance on Galaxy Nexus. Now, as the saying goes, the best camera is the one you have with you right now. And when that's the camera in your phone, the last thing you need is to have to fumble around and miss that perfect photo opportunity. So with Ice Cream Sandwich, it's never been easier or faster to capture the action and share it in a matter of seconds. Let's take a look. So we're back to the lock screen. I can just drag to the left, and I'll be ready to snap a picture right away. Let's take a shot. Once you've captured your masterpiece, um, sharing is just one step away. You can just tap on the photo, and you can share it through any uh, app on your phone that hooks into Android's uh, open sharing APIs, um, like Gmail, Google+, Flickr, Twitter, and so on. Maybe here we can try with Google+. 
So I'll tap on that. I'll submit the photo. And voila, it's on the web. Let me show you a few other cool features in the Ice Cream Sandwich camera app. You can easily zoom in using the slider control on the bottom that you see here. Uh, you can tap anywhere in the viewport to focus and, and auto set exposure. And if there are people in your shot, the camera detects faces and automatically focuses on them. Real people, of course. Also, taking pictures with uh, Galaxy Nexus, as Kevin said earlier, is a real joy because the camera has zero shutter lag. Check it out. It's literally instant. And you can take multiple shots insanely fast, too, like that. That's fantastic. We all love taking pictures. We really do. And sometimes we just want to make them perfect. In Ice Cream Sandwich, we've added a powerful set of photo editing tools so you can do just that. Let's have a look. Um, we're going to tap on the Edit option on the menu over here. And then you can quickly touch up the photo, apply any number of hipster filters, maybe like this one. You can adjust the angle of the shot. You can crop it. You can remove your red eye and a whole bunch more. Your edits are saved as a copy, so you can always go back to the original if it turns out to be the best. And from here, of course, you can also just share it with just one more tap with any app on your phone or through any app on your phone. All the editing we just did here was inside the new Android Gallery app, um, which we've redesigned completely to put even more focus on the actual photos. Let's go back. Now look at this slick magazine style layout, exactly what Matias was talking about earlier. You can see how gorgeous these photos look. You can see them automatically organized, not just by albums as you're seeing here, but also by location using geotags. Or by the people that you've tagged in your photos. Lots of familiar faces here. Maybe we can check out that Hiroshi photo. Ah, that's a good one. The new gallery app looks really, really amazing. Uh, we're going to go back to the camera now and talk about a very new feature, a new way to take photos that we're introducing in Ice Cream Sandwich. Panorama. Let me show you how that works. Just touch the panorama icon uh, on the bottom right, and then just tap the shutter to start. Let the tracker on the screen guide you. You can just make one smooth and continuous movement. It's really easy and a ton of fun. When you're done, you'll see a quick preview while the software stitches together the full panorama in higher quality. And let's see, it's done. Here's the final result. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And by the way, if you use Google+, Plus, you can turn on instant upload. And every photo you take, including panoramas, will be automatically synced and saved to the cloud right away. Super, super practical. Now, let's talk about video. The Galaxy Nexus is capable of beautiful 1080p video recording. And we've added a couple of cool video features to the camera app. Continuous focus, zoom while recording, time-lapse support, and video snapshots, which allow you to take high-resolution photos while recording a video by just tapping on the screen. Now, here's a fun one. One of the Android engineers, his name is uh, Roman Guy, decided to, take, to have some fun with um, his, next, his Galaxy Nexus camera. He actually rigged the phone to a stage zero and recorded some pretty incredible sunset videos. We're going to play you a quick clip. Uh, the actual video content in this clip is completely unedited. The frames are just what came out of the phone. So this is a shot taken in Rockaway Beach near San Francisco. It was filmed over a couple of minutes with a very short time-lapse interval of two and a half seconds. This one is just a straight video shot with a, a warmer manual uh, white balance, which is set to reproduce the feel of a, a warm California sunset. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And this one is a great example of a time-lapse video. It was shot over 10 minutes, and because the sun had just set, there was very little light left, which should have been 
a tricky shot, but the Galaxy Nexus camera ha handed it just handled it just just fine. These videos look really awesome. So that was photos and videos, of course. Now let's talk about the third section. Let's talk about people. We all use our phones to connect and share with the people around us. And we've put people at the heart of Ice Cream Sandwich. We focus on improving and sometimes even reinventing communications and sharing on a mobile device. And it starts with the new People app. The People app is an evolution of contacts, and it has a beautiful, bright, new look. Starting here in the center tab, uh, it has all of my contacts, and you notice on the top, there's a me profile. After all, this is my phone, and it should know who I am. So that's me. From here, you can swipe to the tab on the right, uh, and you can see all of my favorite and most contacted people presented to you in this gorgeous photo grid. This is another great example of that magazine-style UI that Matthias was talking about. Well, let's tap on Matthias and go to his people card. It has a great high-resolution photo at the top, followed by all of his contact details. And you can see here how I'm connected to Matthias, in this case via Google+, Twitter, and LinkedIn. If you tap on any of these, by the way, you jump straight into his profile in that particular app. What's really cool is that the contact details that you see here are actually pulled from all of these services and aggregated on the phone, which means that when Matthias updates them, I automatically get everything. And if you swipe right, if you, if you swipe to the right inside of the people card, you'll see Matthias's, some of Matthias's recent updates um, aggregated from these networks as well. So that's the people app. It's not just a database of names and numbers. It's a live window into your social world. All of this is made possible by open APIs that we've updated in Ice Cream Sandwich so that any social network, any communications platform can easily tap into it. Putting people at the heart of Ice Cream Sandwich also means making sure that your people, your peeps, are always a few taps away. Now, if I'm here in Gmail, I'll open that, mess that message from Matthias. If I tap on his photo on the top of the email, I get a quick contact card, as we call it, which shows all of the different ways to connect with him. So, for example, I could continue this email conversation via SMS or Google Talk directly from here. Quick Contacts is completely open to develop developers, so any app can easily plug in here, and you can see some of them already. As Matthias showed you earlier, you can also add people directly to your home screen, give them maximum privilege, and even place them in folders like you see here. Um, here I've added a direct dial shortcut to Matthias, so I can actually call him directly from my home screen with just one tap. Let's give him a call. As I'm calling Matthias, or when he's calling me, of course, I'll see this awesome high-resolution profile photo which takes almost the entire screen, and it looks insanely good. Now, since we've conveniently landed back here in the, in the new phone app, let me show you around for a bit. Um, so in the new phone app, I can swipe right, and I'll see my favorites. In fact, the same ones that you saw earlier in the People app, except if I touch them here, it'll call them right away because I am in the People app. And in Ice Cream Sandwich, we're introducing new open APIs for integrating visual voicemail directly into the call log where they really belong. For example, you can see here my Google Voice voicemails are uh, right alongside my recent calls, and I can just uh, tap and play a voicemail instantly. Why don't you go ahead and tap? Uh, and we've done something about those... We'll just bring the volume up. Yeah. We've done something about those long-winded voicemails. You can now um, speed up. Can we just bring the volume up? Or uh, you can speed up or slow down playback in real time, which makes it really easy, of course, to get through that long message that Anand left me last night straight off his flight. Now, what about when someone calls me? Uh, Hiroshi has... Uh, a really terrible sense of timing, but instead of declining his call, I can now respond by sending, and we can try that again. Oh, sorry. So instead of declining his call, I swiped up, and I can send him a, I can send him a quick a text message. Um, it's okay. We'll do that later. This feature is called quick response. Uh, instead of declining his call, and he doesn't really know what's going on, I send him a quick text message. It's 
uh, a pre-canned uh, message that I've selected. I can personalize them however I want. Um, uh, so it, it makes it uh, perhaps a little bit less arrogant to turn down to decline Hiroshi's call. Uh, so that was that was quick response, and uh, it's a it's just another cool way to um, to interact with people when they're calling you. The last thing we want to show you today is a brand new approach to sharing using NFC technology. It's a new feature called Android Beam. Android Beam makes it easy to share pretty much any contact, any content between Android devices in a simple, secure, and totally intuitive way. Let me show you how to Beam. So Anand is um, right next to me here. And if we go to the camera. Uh, and he's reading an article that he wants to share with me. He's going to do that using Android Beam. To do that, we just touch our phones together, and the article is beamed across. It's literally instantaneous. It's just loading it off the web now. And there's the article. It's great. Thank you. Why don't we take a look at another example? Um, Anna, why don't we go into Google Maps? So Anand is showing me here a map of, um, of this toy store on Nathan Road here in Hong Kong that he wants to check out later today. Um, to transfer that map directly to my phone, again, you can just uh, touch the two devices and then beam it right over to me. And there you go. It's on my phone. Out of the box in Ice Cream Sandwich, you can share YouTube videos, people cards, and a bunch of other things. Let me show you one last example where Android Beam is really, really useful. Uh, Anand has been playing, uh, been telling me, in fact, about this game that, uh, he, uh, that he, he's got. It's called Minecraft, uh, and it's a pretty cool game. Uh, and I, I don't have it on my phone yet, but I'd really, really love to get it. Of course, I could just go to Android Market and search for it, but there's an easier and much cooler way to do that. Let's see what happens when we touch our phones together while he's got the game running on his device. Android Beam takes me directly to the Android Market page for Minecraft, and I can just download it straight from there, just with one touch. Android Beam is a new way of starting almost any type of proximity-based interactions. You'll be, able to use, you'll be able to use it to set up a multiplayer game, to share photos, to join a group chat, and I'm sure to do thousands of other things that we haven't even thought of. We're shipping APIs for Android Beam in Ice Cream Sandwich, and we're really looking forward to seeing what developers will do with this technology. So that was a preview of Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, Galaxy Nexus is the first Android device that's uh, featuring Ice Cream Sandwich, and it will ship worldwide starting in November. But we're making the SDK available for everyone starting today. In fact, it's available right now at developer.android.com, or just go to android.com. The SDK has everything you need to start building apps using the new Android Ice Cream Sandwich APIs, and a UI toolkit that allows you to write apps for phones and tablets. So we're really looking, really looking forward to seeing what you're going to come back and, uh, and do with Ice Cream Sandwich. With that, I want to thank you and invite Kim back on stage. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Hugo. Thank you, Matthias. Thank you, Kevin. And thank you to uh, Andy and to uh, JK for unveiling the product earlier. Most of all, thank you for all of you who came here today. Uh, we have demo devices out in the uh, uh, auditorium or the area outside, rather, uh, so that you can get your hands on the devices, get videos and photographs, and again, thank you all for being here.